10 Reasons to Visit Malta Malta is a naturally gorgeous country, as seen by the numerous limestone cliffs, blue waters, and secret coves strewn throughout the island, which also houses three UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Malta is an archipelago located in the Middle Mediterranean Sea, halfway between Sicily and the coast of North Africa. It's a country famed for historic sites, dating back to the Romans. Moors, Knights of St. John, French, and British monarchs. This country is rich in history and culture, and it is home to one of the most beautiful cities in Europe. There are a plethora of reasons to visit Malta. Here are the top 10 reasons to visit Malta. If you haven't already, please subscribe to Grace Media and join our community as we begin this countdown. 10. One Destination, Three Islands Malta, Gazo, and Camino are the three islands that make up this location. Malta is the largest and most visited of all of them. Casmino is a tiny, uninhabited island with a blue lagoon, whereas Gazo is known for its calm lifestyle and beautiful surroundings. This island has the advantage of being easily accessible by boat. This group of islands is found in the Mediterranean Sea, south of Sicily, and off the coast of North Africa is more rural, with a fishing sector, tourism, crafts, and agriculture to its credit. The climate on the Maltese Islands is recognized for being pleasant and sunny. On average, there are roughly 12 hours of sunshine per day. We enjoy being outside, Buttigieg says. 9. Good choice of hotels and other accommodation. In Malta, there is a vast selection of lodging options and Gozo is a great place to start when looking for a place to stay because it houses a variety of hotels, ranging from fancy five-star hotels to more affordable three-star hotels. St. Julian, Bugiba, Ora, and Sliema, which are all located along Malta's northern shore, have the biggest number of holiday resorts and hotels. You should know that staying in this wonderful spot called St. Julian's is recommended if you enjoy going out. This hotel has 100% security, and this hotel is suitable for those who seek peace and serenity. Melieja and St. Paul's Bay will be appropriate suites. Melieja is the perfect site for a romantic vacation, and it's also close to the beaches, which means you'll have a lot of fun. Malta boasts resorts and accommodations to suit every taste and budget, and Sliema, a renowned tourist destination, has helped to making this location a worthwhile destination. 8. Beaches The island's northern and western shorelines are home to some of the island's best beaches, including Melieja Bay, the island's largest beach, Golden Bay, and Gain Tafia. In the summer, this beach becomes a popular place to relax and unwind. When it comes to beaches, Malta has it all. Gazo, for her part, has a few wonderful options, some of which are hard to come by and hence less likely to appeal to the people. Don't you think Malta deserves an athlete for the thrilling, fun beaches it has to offer and the tranquility and relaxation it provides to its visitors? Malta's weather is one of the main reasons that over a million tourists visit the Maltese islands each year, and with good cause. Summers are ideal for those seeking a beach and sun vacation, while winters are pleasant, with relatively high temperatures and yet a large number of daily daylight hours for those seeking to escape the dark, sub-zero months back home. 7. Festivals Every occasion and season in Malta, this location hosts a succession of events. For example, the Malta International Arts Festival and the Fireworks Festival. Are these the same events as the famed Malta Jazz Festival? Not participating in the Village Festus, which start in May and go all summer. Every weekend throughout the summer, villages all around the island have festas devoted to their patron saint. This country boasts a vibrant nightlife that influences the Christmas season, as well as an international club scene that includes Taisto and Paul Van Dyck. And because their event is accessible to everyone, including locals and visitors, don't miss out on the fun while you're in Malta. Malta is a good spot for holidays destination, and not just festival sounds exciting here. We also have things which you could do like hiking, 
biking which also very popular here. Most outdoor materials needed are always available to take and have fun. Not living up the climbing of the steep cliff, which is very fun to do thus Malta has it all. 6. The Wine Malta has one of the best wines in the world, with wine production dating back over 2,000 years and rapidly increasing from one level to the next since then. The seafaring Phoenicians brought wine production to the island, and since then, great planting has increased in the mainstay vineyards. On the world stage, the Maltese reds and whites are progressively building a name for themselves. Marsavin is the most well-known winery in the area. They have cellars just south of Valletta, and you can visit them to sample their famed Galazer Rose with a hint of FRZ Zant, as well as their fine Carbonet Sauvignon varietals, which are recognized for rich notes of cherry and oak wood. It's pointless to drink wine without food. When it comes to the food, it's influenced by Italy, Spain, France, and the United Kingdom. Malta has an excellent culinary scene, with numerous excellent restaurants to pick from. And no matter what type of food you prefer, you will always be able to get it here because it prepares all and lives none. 5. History Malta has so much history to offer the world, from romantic beaches to food and wine, wonderful islands, and so much more, that you realize you're not normal if you don't live here or come every now and then. The history of the little nation dates back to the birth of civilization, and it has been controlled by Arabs, Normans, and Aragonese over the centuries. Phoenicians, Carthaginians, and Romans all left their mark on this island. It also features historical buildings, such as the Enigmatic Temple, as well as old history that has become modern thanks to technological advancements. Malta is a small island in the Mediterranean Sea that few people are familiar with. The Malta Tourism Authority's Michelle Buttigieg recently told Travel Pulse, we're still in the education phase. Malta's magnificent Malta still remains so under the radar, despite having 7,000 years of rich and interesting history to discover, including ruins associated to the Romans, Moors, and Knights of St. John, all of whom formerly dominated the island. 4. Trace the Caravaggio Gloomy and brooding Caravaggio is still regarded as one of the most captivating artists in history. Bounty hunters pursued the artist to Malta in the first decade of the 1600s. In the magnificent St. John's Co-Cathedral in central Valletta, he left one of his greatest achievements. In Malta, the rambunctious artist created some of his most famous pieces. It hangs near another painting by the Italian master, St. Jerome writing which is enmeshed in tales of intrigue and even potential killings. Both are a must-see for any art enthusiast visiting Malta's capital. 3. Blue Lagoon The famed Blue Lagoon is located between the Camino and the islet of Caminato on the little island of Camino. Between the months of May and September, when the sun shines brightly, the lagoon turns a brilliant blue Gozo and Camino, the rockier isles, offer their unique attractions. On the main island, there are several very beautiful swimming areas. This location is ideal for a day at the beach with the family. 2. Cathedrals in Medina This is one of the cities of Malta, also known as Sita Vecchia and Malta's silent city, with filigreed Baroque fronts and a vermilion dome that rises high above the horizon. This cathedral dates back to the 1100s and is a beautiful and unique building. Inside, you'll find frescoed chapels and gold-leafed vaulted domes. Make your way to St. Paul's catacombs for something a little spookier. They are 2,000 square meters in size and weave beneath, revealing the mysteries of early Christian religion on Malta. One. Fort St. Elmo In Valletta, you can't miss Fort St. Elmo, which stands tall above the ancient city with its honey-hued stone and seems like something out of Game of Thrones, guarding the main harbor and the Mediterranean. The Knights Hospitaller constructed the massive granite fortification in the 16th century. It has become a symbol of the UNESCO capital of the islands. 
Come in to read about the hard-fought fights with Ottoman invaders who came this way in the 1500s, as well as World War II-era bombings. There are eye-catching bulwarks and formidable armories, which currently house large collections of armaments, vintage guns, and even a vehicle once used by FDR. The beautiful island nation of Malta is filled with beaches, resorts, culture, arts has so many other natural attractions to offer its citizens and visitor. If you want to make the best of your summer, take a trip to Malta. For more interesting updates and vacation destinations, please like, share, comment, subscribe and turn on your notifications.